Hello everyone! Today we're starting a new course Python Turtle. So this is our first intro lesson to this course. By the end of this lesson you will able to understand and implement basic commands to draw figures and shapes. So let's start by setting up the environment. We have two options available. To set up the online version of the program, follow the next steps. Go to this link, write sample code which is given in the presentation and then press green run button. To set up the offline version of the program, first of all you must download the program by following this link and then install it. I have already downloaded and installed Python, so I'm going to skip the first two steps. Next, run Python idle program and then create a new file by pressing Ctrl N buttons on your keyboard or by going to the menu and pressing file, then new. After it, write sample code which is given in the presentation and save the file by pressing Ctrl S buttons on your keyboard or by going to the menu and pressing file, then save. The last step after you finished your code, press F5 button on your keyboard or go to the menu and press run, then run module. Whether you choose to work online or offline, the result of the program must be the same as in the presentation. You must see the arrow pointing to the right. Ok, if you are done with setting up the environment, let's jump to our code. The first line tells Python to load a model named turtle. That model gives us the opportunity to use commands to work with graphics. So you must write this line of code at the very beginning of your program. In the next line, this command moves the turtle forward for exactly 100 pixels. There are also available short versions of this command, simply write fd instead of forward. Also, you may use a negative value for this command in the parentheses. And as a result, the turtle will go backward for the absolute value of a given number. But we also have another command to do this kind of task. And like you have already guessed it, it is a backward or back or bk commands. Any of these commands will move backward for a specified distance. The next command we will pass is a circle command. Like you see on the picture, it draws a circle with a specified radius. Now, let's look at the example called Slinky. We must write a program that draws a slinky with 5 circles. So let's start from the drawing circle. Let the radius be 50 pixels. Now let's check if everything is correct and as we can see we have a circle with 50 pixels radius. And after circle command it is clear that we must write forward command. Let the distance be 30 pixels. Let's check it again. Everything is totally fine. I am suggesting to you to check your code as often as possible, so if you have some mistakes you will recognize them quickly before things get really messed up. And then we must simply copy these two commands and paste it 4 times. Now let's press the run button. And we are done with this example. Let's talk about how we position the turtle. Our turtle lives in a grid world. Or in other words, we may say it lives in canvas. Let us assume that canvas has a width of 500 pixels and also a height of 500 pixels. The turtle always starts at the center of the canvas at position x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So the x-axis has the value from negative 250 to 250. So does the y-axis. It means that at the top left corner x is equal to minus 250 and y is equal to 250. At the top right corner both of them are equal to 250. At the bottom left corner both of them is equal to negative 250. And at the bottom right corner x is equal to 250 and y is equal to negative 250. Like you already noticed, our turtle leaves a trail of itself. So, if you want it to stop leaving a trail, we can use pen up or shortly pu command. And after some moment, if you want it again to start drawing a trail, we can use pen down or shortly pd command. It's important to know that the turtle always starts with her pen down. So it means the turtle draws a trail of itself at the very beginning of our program. Now, 
Let's look at the example called dashes. We must write a program that draws two dashes across the x-axis of the canvas. It's obvious that we must go to the left side of the x-axis. There, x has a value of negative 250. So to go there without leaving a trail, first of all we must write penup command. After it, backward 250. Let's check our code. As you can see, now our turtle is at the left side of the x-axis. So, like we can notice, we have two dashes and two spaces. Both of them have the same length along the x-axis. Like we already discussed that our canvas has a width of 500 pixels, it means we must divide 500 by 4. And as a result, we will have 125. It means we start from drawing a dash with 125 pixels length. To do so, we must start leaving a trail by writing pen down command. After it, we write forward 125. Let's check it again. Everything is fine till now. Next step, we must draw space with a length of 125 pixels. To do so, we must again stop leaving trails by using pen up command and then go forward 125 pixels. Let's check it again. Now, as you can notice, our turtle is again at the start position. And from this position, we must copy the previous four commands to finish our example. Let's check. And here we have completed our task. Now let's jump to our last command in this lesson. The left or LT command or right or RT command. These commands will turn the turtle to the specified degrees to the left or to the right respectively. It's important to mention that the turtle always starts facing right. Let's go to the next example and draw a square with sides of 100 pixels. To do so, we must go forward for 100 pixels. After it, we must turn left for 90 degrees and simply copy these two commands three times. Let's press run button to see the result. And we can see that everything is correct. In the next example, we must draw a equilateral triangle with a size of 100 pixels. Let's remind that an equilateral triangle is a triangle where every three sides are equal and every interior angle between two adjacent sides has 60 degrees. It means that every exterior angle has 180 minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees. So why did I do these calculations? Because it's obvious that we must draw three lines with 100 pixels length. And after it, we must turn left to specify degrees. And so I just have calculated how many degrees I must turn to the left after each line. So now I will simply write forward 100 command and left 120. And then duplicate these two commands two times. And that's it. Let's check the result of our last example. Everything seems correct. So, congratulations, we have finished our first lesson. Now, let's sum up what we have learned so far. So, we have learned forward and backward commands, which allows us to move forward or backward with a specified distance, respectively. Pen up and pen down commands, which stops or starts leaving a trail of itself. Left and right commands, which allows us to turn left or right to specified degrees. And last but not least, circle command, which allows us to draw a circle with a specified radius. Now it's your turn to work. You can download this presentation in the description part of this video. In the end of the presentation, I have prepared for you six exercises so that you can review and implement drawing commands. If you will have some questions, I am looking forward to answering them in the comment section below. Wish you good luck, see you next lesson.